up guys welcome back to the channel it is no more xp and of course you know we got to do something a little different for you guys besides the normal streams and other uploads of gaming content today we're going to be giving i'm going to give you my first impression actually of redo of healer i've been keeping up with it recently and this is pretty much like we're a quarter away of, we're a quarter away of the season done um of course, I'm going to do an uh, end result, an honest review on it later on when it finishes. But this is pretty much a dark fantasy type anime. And it starts off kind of funny because it starts off with a group of characters like four. About four, you got a magician, you got like, you got a sword, you got a sword master, you got a guy with a gun and da 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 You know, just typical bullshit stuff. But the main character, Kiyaru, who is a healer in the group, which if you know anything, a healer is pretty much the trashest thing that you can possibly have. But in this case, he makes the healer look like a badass. So long story short, in the beginning, he um he pretty much betrays all of them, gets them killed and whatnot, except the princess, who you'll find out later on. The princess drunk in a, she was drinking an elixir because he wouldn't heal any of them, so she can come back. But he ends up defeating the Devil King, Devil Lord, whatever the hell you want to call it, in the beginning. And he starts having feelings and figuring out why she said what she said. And then he has magic powers. His healing ability is like God level. He pretty much uses the Philosopher's Stone, which is what it's called. Yeah, I know. I know what you're thinking. The Philosopher's Stone, right? What the fuck? He used the Philosopher's Stone after a little quick exchange with the Princess, aka Magician, to redo time four years back prior to where they're at and pretty much he's gonna rewrite everything and take his revenge out on them now <laughs> to me personally getting revenge on people uh if they did you wrong why not right he ends up getting his little branded mark of a hero that says that he's a damn healer which that's got to be a case of bullshit right there but he ends up doing things prematurely. He goes through everything that he does. He starts building up his immune system for the toxins that will end up making him crazy, which did make him crazy and make him lose his sanity and all that stuff. But the guy, the guy pretty much does what he does. And the princess that I was speaking about earlier makes her way to the village. She, sign she signals that there is a new hero among them. He comes out of the shadows and it's like, okay, blah, 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 blah. This is going to be great. You know, he's playing the fool for right now. He gets to the castle. The king is like this high, this high monarch motherfucker. And he's just like, we've read it out. He is a hero of healing. And it's like, what? And then, of course, the princess, a.k.a. Flair. Flair is disgusted by that. The first one, like, bitch, how are you going to be disgusted? Because that's what I was. Like, I can't help it. I'm not a hero magician or something like you. Bitch, what you want me to do? Anyway, his healing power is pretty much when he heals somebody, this is the bad part about it. When he heals somebody, he gets their memories and pretty much it traumatizes them to the point where he vomits most of the time. But it's incredible healing powers because it also raises the stats to go beyond your max stat. So if you max out, he can make it where you go beyond that. But that's just the bad part on his. So anyway, moving on. She tries to, the princess tries to take care of him to make sure he's all satisfied, da 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 In the first moment he gets in his room, he's already sleeping with a girl. Can you believe that? He's already laying the pipe down. I mean, he was tearing that shit up. He slept with many maids that day, I'm pretty sure. From the episodes I've seen, he slept with all of them just to get experience points up and to get, you know, warrior techniques and all that shit because he can get their skills too. Not only does he get their memories, he gets their skills. And again, his healing powers are godlike. Anyway, moving on. So in the first two episodes, he's going through, he's just going through it, playing the fool. He built his immune system up and everything. So the drugs start coming, the drugs start coming in. He ends up getting drugged and da 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 da. So he's still playing it off as the fool and all this stuff because it hasn't kicked in yet where he gets to turn back normal, which he ends up doing eventually. But like, dude, like I watched just like that for the first two episodes, this dude's getting duct taped and butt raped by men and women. And they just like these, they're powering up by like drinking his semen. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I watching? Then? What am I watching anymore? I'm like, what is this? What is this? What am I watching? Why, why, why did I even, even, 
want to watch it, but I was glued to the screen like this. But after that, after all that stuff, him getting raped pretty much, which I was not a fan of him getting raped at all because it was just like, what the fuck? Again, he was getting done in by dudes. They said, bend that shit over, playboy. I'm about to get some of that butt. And he ends up trying to, he ends up escaping because the last person he healed knew alchemy and all that stuff, which made him a pretty strong ass healing hero at that point. So he fakes out, he fakes out the attendance of the princess and he ends up going to her room. He beheads the, <laughs> the attendants or maids, whatever you want to call them to get closer to Flair. And it's a soundproof room. That's the funny thing. He tricked her by wearing the captain's face that was beating him up way back to sneak in her room, a soundproof room. Then he proceeds to get his revenge on her. He starts breaking fingers. And then out of all the things he's done, he pulls out a little fire poke. Now, if you, when you look at it from the episode, it's like, this man really pulled out a fire poke? Like, and it's hot. It wasn't like just some random pole off the ground that was sharp. He got it right out of the fireplace, like boop, boop, boop. And it was just like, it came down to two things. Either you can take this ride or you can take that ride. And so he humiliated her and begged her. He, well, pretty much he humiliated her to the point where he dick slapped her. And then she was just like, I want your ride. So of course it proceeds to blow jobs and all that stuff. This dark fantasy stuff gets crazy. He receives the blowjob and all that stuff. And then after it's all said and done, she she played with herself, da 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 da. Now this is all the uncensored version because you know if you get the censored, it's kind of crap and it's just there's no point. This is pretty much softcore hentai at this at this moment. So she's so when once she begs for it and everything like that, he takes her virginity. I mean, he's going to pound town. He's clapping cheeks. I mean, this is pretty much just hentai at this point. I mean, this shit's fucked up. It's fucked up. It was funny. It was very funny. Trust me. I was laughing every time I heard those cheeks clapping. And I was like, this man is really getting it in. Like, how's this? How's this? How do you even have this on like regular anime sites? Like, this should not, this should be on like Pornhub or something. Anyway, after he said it, after the deed's done and everything, he pretty much set the blaze to the place, but not before. He uses his healing powers to wipe her memory and change her whole personality and face. And which you do get to see in the rest of the episode. So pretty much after all that stuff, he makes her into he makes her pretty much into a slave in a sense. Where her memory is just you're you're only obedient to me. And that's the end of it. And then we move fast a little bit. They get out of they get the hell out of Dodge. They already done framed the captain. The, the captain's the one that pretty much killed the princess in a sense, but that's just his framework. Cause he switched bodies with him. He made his face onto the captain. Like they swapped faces, but he kept his whole, his regular face once he used heal. So after that, they continue on and all that. And then we get to episodes three and four. The man's coming to town. It's pretty sick. I mean, these guys probably got it worse than COVID and where you stay. That's how disgusting and coughing they were. So he ends up making a he ends up making a cure, blase, blase, make a little money. He ends up going to, he ends up going and leaving to buy a slave. Now, the merchant that bought this stuff was just like, I don't trust you and da 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 da. As far as like the healing potion stuff goes, so they can cure the townspeople and whatnot. But he ended up giving it in anyway because his assistant took it. He didn't want, he really didn't want to trust it. Some stranger giving me medicine? Yeah, that's you're a doctor. Uh-huh. Anyway, fast forward. Uh Keiaru ends up going to this little slave trader business, a bunch of little ice wolves in there, animals, all kinds, all kinds of stuff in there. And he comes across a, a little ice wolf warrior who's like top notch. She's sick though. Top notch, her name is Setsuna. And you get to learn about her more as he starts healing her and he ends up buying her. After she tried to attack him, he ends up buying her, but he can see that she's almost like him. She has revenge on the mind because of what the kingdom did with their disgusting ass, right? So anyway, he pretty much leaves off on a cliffhanger for episode three and all that stuff. Episode four, he ends up healing her, doing this and that. He explained to her that she's maxed out. She's probably like a level seven or some shit. I don't know. She maxes out. It shows a little flashback of her once he heals her and 
it's just like, what? What are you doing? So anyway, once he gives her the ultimatum of, do you want to become strong? <laughs> it came down to, you want to obey everything I do and give me your real name, which in the little whole Demi, Demi human, whatever the fuck it's called, in those terms, you have to obey. So that's when you give him the true name though. So she says she wants to get strong. Sesuda wants to get strong. So after, you know, doing all that, he ends up piping her too. So he's piping the wolf, but not before he gets that sloppy toppy. So he ends up piping the wolf too. So he pipes the wolf first and she's all enjoying that shit. You know, fur going everywhere and all of this tail wagging, da da da. She drinks a cup of semen and he just keep it going. Going all the way back to her village where the war starts. The war starts there between the kingdom and the ice wolves. They're already beating the women wolves and all that stuff, which don't make no sense, by the way. But it is what it is, and I'm not gonna like complain about it too much, cause I mean, this is a dark fantasy. It's gonna have crazy shit in it, right? Crazy shit. And as we move forward, she's all anxious to go out there and tear it up. But he ends up pulling out this fucking Phantom of the Opera mask, looking like Vega from Street Fighter. And he goes on a like a whole killing spree down there for her in the beginning. To get, the, to get her village on his side. And that's what pretty much set it all off for the Ice Wolves to actually come out and start tearing up even more because they were getting handed to him by arrows, flames and all that stuff. Of course, you get the little cameo of Flair, da 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 da. She's out there doing her little magic trick. Of course, she's still, you know, blank slate, obedient slave. That's what you can say, she's a slave. And then you just take it from there. And then Setsuna comes down and unleashes her wrath. So after all that stuff said and done, they go to where every where the ice was pretty much tainted the water to make them sick. And she had to ultimate him again. Do you want to keep killing humans through this or do you want to heal them? And she ends up having a soft heart after she explains that, you know, people that have nothing to do with it definitely don't need to be harmed in this, which I found pretty, you know, that's a selfless act in a way. That is very selfless of her. She actually cares about people. Now, that motherfucker, he, already, he don't care about nobody. He wants them dead anyway. He wants revenge on all of them. So that's it. So that's pretty much said and done. And episode four pretty much ends with him beating that wolf me out. I mean, he was beating that wolf. He was beating that wolf wolf. I mean, it's probably blue hair down there and everything. He was tearing up on that tree. I mean, you know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at. He was tearing up, tearing up. So, all that said and done, we go back to my first impressions of all that as the quarter of the season is done. I think as a dark fantasy, uncensored, you're getting your bang for your buck. If you watch it censored, you're not gonna get your bang for your buck, and I think that's dumb. You should never watch anime when it's censored. That's like, like, that could be Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, any of that, because you wanna see the gore and stuff, you wanna see the whole thing that's going on. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't wanna see like a dick going into a, <laughs> I don't wanna see your meat going in taco. I mean, you can show like half screen, da 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 da, and like cheeks clapping. See, on the, un on the censor, you don't even hear cheeks clapping, you just hear voices, and it's like, what, what the fuck is going on, what, what is this? Anyway, I think I think this is fucked up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna raise a lot of eyebrows. It's very controversial. For a dark fantasy, it's pretty much revenge, rape, torture in a sense. And that's if you are ahead in the manga. Um, I've been reading the manga, it gets really fucked up. And man, let me tell you something. And here, I haven't even touched on it yet, but when he was back in the camp with his like other three heroes way back before he had, when he was going back through his memories. This man was getting done in by like all of them. I mean, he was, he was eating cat. He was getting like beat. And then dude was throwing roses everywhere, making it into like a nice palette. And then he was getting duct taped and butt raped. <laughs> like what? Like bruh. You a whole man and you want to take you want to take this man's like his G spot? Like why you keep take why why y'all keep getting this man in the G spot? Like what is wrong with y'all? This can't be informational at all. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and always live life and laugh loud like I'm doing now. I'm no more XP. I'll let you boy next time. I'll see you.